guys now what you have here guys is uh, you're asked question 8 okay question 8 is the radius uh, that's the pi value this is the radius that's the height and that's the slant height in question 8 we don't know what the height is but we know what the slant height is please remember the slant height is the hypotenuse this means that that's 5 right there okay you you also know that the uh, radius is 4.8. The radius is the bottom one, and then finally you're looking for the height. Now, everybody keeps getting Pythagoras' theorem mixed up. It's it's it changes with every question. Okay, it's the longest side, which is visually the longest side in that triangle I have on the board. The five, the five gets squared, and it equals the uh, the h squared plus the 4.8 to be squared. That's 25. What you get for 4.8 squared again? Is it 24.04? Sorry? Oh, sorry, 23.04? Yeah, 4.8 is 23.04. Your 25, take away your 23.04 when you bring it over the other side. So you have 23, 25 minus 23.04 equals h squared. That means 1.96 equals h squared. h equals square root of 1.96, which is 1.4. Everybody happy with that 1.4? Now, you fill it in, your 1.4. Now you have the radius, you have the height, and you have the slant height. When you have all three of them, after using Pythagoras' theorem, then you use the formulas. You'll go to your notes, You'll see uh, you'll see a picture of a uh, of a cone, okay. And when you see the picture of this cone, what you'll see is uh, two letters underneath it, and it will say uh, area is uh, pi r l, and it'll also say that volume is one third pi r squared h. You'll determine which one you need by just looking at the question. It wants us to find the volume first. So how do we find the volume? Phi equals, I'll do this in uh, this green part over here. Phi equals one third. What's our pi value in this question? Pi. Our radius value, guys. What's the radius value in question A? The one with the R above it? 4.8. And finally, what's the uh, H value? 1.4. And what did we get when we did that? Anybody have question 8 done, guys? What you get? Nobody has it on hand? Okay, so I'll have a look now. Shh. One. Okay, one third. Write it exactly as it looks. Uh, you have your pi. Uh, and you have your r squared. Uh, you can have 192 over 25 pi, or, sorry, oh I missed the end, did I, what was the end, 1.4, yeah there it is there, 1.4, 3.78, okay, happy enough with that, uh, so you go back to the top, and you fill in your uh, 33.78 up here, uh, what's the units? Millimeters squared or millimeters cubed? Millimeters cubed. Volume is the only thing that's 3D. Millimeters cubed. Now, once you're finished with that, you then have to look for your area. Okay? Your area is pi RL. Your area is pi RL. Your pi value is still pi your radius is 4.8 what's your l value in this question for question 8 l value of 5 and what you get when you put that in sorry 75.4 uh, millimeters squared or millimeters cubed huh now 75.4 Millimeters squared. Are you happy with that? Okay. Look, lads, that's basically just the two questions. You do Pythagoras' theorem, then you follow up using the two formulas. Okay? It's 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 everything there. 
We'll move quickly on to question uh, 12, okay? So that's question 8 done first, and now we're on to question 12. Uh, a cone has a radius of 18 centimeters. Oh, sorry, 13. My fault. There, this one here. <coughs> There's a, a cone on top of what's called the uh, fulstrum, okay? A fulstrum is this object here. It looks like a, uh, basically, it's like a cone with the, the top chopped off, okay? So that's a full shroom right there. And what we're going to ask, this question, a lot of language too, but we'll just quickly do it. It, it says it's a cone. Cone formulas are in play. Uh, it has a height, a H value of 15, and a radius value of 12. What one are we lacking, guys? If we have H and R, what's the letter that's missing? L, slant height. We call it that. We got to do, what do we need to do always to find the one that's missing? Pythagoras' theorem. What's the longest side? L squared equals what? 15 squared plus 12 squared. Uh, L squared will equal, uh, anybody give me a bit of hand with this? 369. And when you square root that? 19? 19.2. Nineteen point two. We might leave that actually. If you don't mind, I'm gonna leave that as a square root. Okay. True forty one. Okay. Say. Forty one. Okay. The guys, once I do that, the reason why we're gonna do that is uh, true forty one. Okay. It wants me to leave the volume in terms of pi. So keyword is volume, it wants the volume. What's the volume formula? But a third pi r squared h, okay? That's what we're looking at here. So we're gonna get a v equals one third. What's the pi value? Uh, just in terms of pi, so leave it as pi. What's the radius squared? Radius is 12, is it? And what's the h? 15, 720 pi, once you use the calculator there, 720 pi, no, no worries there. Now, that's grand, done, first answer, done. The cone C is cut horizontally, so it's cut horizontally divided into two smaller cones, a cone and a frustum, all right? Write down the height of the cone A, justify your answer for H. Okay, now this is a tough one, all right? So, do you see on the bottom here? And uh, lads, I really want you to pay attention here. This is this is the one that they love going to, okay? They love going to this one. Sam, they love going for this one, okay? Just please stay sound in. So, the radius is eight, wasn't it? Okay, now, that is eight, okay? Now, what you gotta remember is, it's a ratio. The angle is still the same. So the the, rate, the the height and the radius have to be in the same ratio to one square. So see the way the uh, the height was 15 and the radius was 12, yeah? Do you see that ratio? So how many times bigger is the uh, length than is the height than the than the rate than the radius? 15 over 12, which is the same thing as 5 over 4. What this means is for every four centimeters the radius has, the height will have five. This one has eight. What does that mean? If the radius is eight, what, what, what size do you think the height should be? 10. The height should be 10 because it has to keep the same angle. The, the, for any of those cones there, the ratio of the radius to the height is always the same. Okay? So it stays in the same ratio. That's, that's the key word there. Okay, ratio. Now, that makes that 10 and 8. And what you say is, it has a height of 10 centimeters. I justify it by saying that the cone is in the same shape. It keeps the same ratio. Okay, it's in the same shape. Now, find in terms of pi the volume of cone A. Anybody tell me how to find the volume of cone A? So, wh what's the size of, of cone A again? So... Uh, I'll just take cone A on its own here for a second. There's a uh, cone A. 
Now, cone A on its own is uh, one third pi r squared h. So, what's the uh, pi value is still pi? What's the radius squared? h squared. And the height? 10. Anybody got that in the calculator in terms of pi? Uh, let's go for. So, what'd you say, Ken? Yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, that's why that's why I think it is. Six forty over three, pi. Are you to find the uh, I'm finding the volume of the top cone bit. Because if you go back to the language of the question, it says find in terms of pi the volume of cone A. Cone A being the top part. Okay. Yeah. Shh. What? Yeah. Now, guys. Shh. It says hence or otherwise. Hence or otherwise, find the. Uh, the the volume of the uh, flush drum down the bottom. How do we do that? You can say that the uh, the red object plus the black black cone is the same size as the green cone. Would you agree with that? What size was the green cone again? We have it down here. Green cone was 720. So your 720. Uh, sorry, one other thing. Your 720. Pi, take away your uh, cone A, and that will give you the size of the uh, the bottom size of B. So what do you get when you do that? Anybody know? This is actually a reasonably difficult question. If they go here, it'll be at the end of it, and it'll be considered quite difficult. Uh, that number there, 1,520 over 3 pi. Or you could change it to uh, 1591.74, whichever one you want. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, in class now.